this video we will understand how to set up docker software in the linux virtual machine all right let's get started login into aws cloud account then create linux virtual machine using amazon linux ami connect with that linux machine using mobile extra marputi then install docker software in that machine i'm using my existing aws account i logged in into aws account go to ec2 service in the aws which is used to create virtual machines launch new instance you can give a name for your instance any name is fine i'm giving the name as docker vm amazon linux ami i am choosing t2 micro it is free tier eligible key pair you can select the existing key pair or you can create the new key pair which is used to connect with our machine securely that's it click on launch instance instance is getting created successfully created the instance click on the instance id instance is getting started still it in the pending status it will come to running state for the instance public ip generated using that public ip we can connect with this machine i'm using mobile extreme software you can download from google by using this we can make ssh connection with linux machine copy and paste the public ip as remote host username as it is amazon linux ami machine ec2 user is the default username select the pem file whatever the key pair we have downloaded i have that pem file in the downloads folder i have selected i connected with linux machine successfully now if you see docker is not available in this machine we need to install the docker these are the commands we are going to use to install docker in amazon linux first update the existing packages nothing to do as it is a new machine then sudo m install docker this command is going to install the docker in our machine docker installation completed let's start the docker service using sudo service docker start now we install docker software docker group will be created we need to use this docker software as a ec2 user so let's add ec2 user to docker group using user mode command once it is done just restart your session exit and press r session restarted now you can use docker in this machine docker info we are able to access that means docker software is running in our machine we can check the docker version by using docker v command let us execute docker images command if you see currently we don't have any docker image in our machine docker ps command it is used to display the docker containers which are in the running state currently no containers running in our machine no images available no containers available docker pull hello world using docker pull command you can pull the docker image image name is hello world it is available in the docker hub now you can see docker images yes we have pulled one docker image from the docker hub that image name is hello world let us run the docker image to create the docker container docker run image name the image name is hello world docker run command is used to run the image when we run the image docker container will be created now you can see hello from docker so when you run the hello world image it is created a docker container the docker container provided the output to our terminal saying hello from docker if you are able to see this message that means docker setup is completed successfully in the linux machine we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching